Welcome to Cyrus B Reviews. I'm on this channel. I do weekly Funko Pop reviews, Black Series toy reviews, Black Series Halo reviews, and anything Star Wars related I can get my hands on. So this is going to be my haul video for March 2023. I've got a few Funko Pops. Uh, other than that, I didn't pick anything else up. So let's uh, let's get right into this. So I got this uh, Finn number 85 Funko Pop. This is an older one, but uh, I had to pick this one up because I don't have this one just yet. Barnes & Noble exclusive. He's got the lightsaber. I'm not sure if you can see that. I got some glare here. But yeah, so this is one that I don't have. So let's add this one to my collection. And uh, so let's get on to Funko Pop number two. These are not in any order, so I'm just going to pick them up from uh, this little pile right here. Matter of fact, you're not supposed to see this just yet. All right, so this is number two, Cad Bane. This is from the Book of Boba Fett, number 580. I don't have any of the other Cad Bane Funko Pops that's already out. That I'm So this is the one, the most recent one that came out from the Book of Boba Fett. And I'm glad to add this one to my collection. This one's pretty awesome. It was awesome seeing him in the flesh, I guess you can say that. Yeah, on the uh, Book of Boba Fett. That was pretty cool. Uh, I was like, yes, Cad Bane. All right, so let me put this one to the side. Next one up, this is another oldie that I don't have just yet. This one came out maybe a year and a half or two years ago. This is the... Uh, Concept series number 470, the Stormtrooper with the uh, lightsaber or laser sword. I guess they called it back in the old days, laser sword. So yeah, this is uh, this is gonna add to my collection of the uh, concept series. I got a couple of those already. So yeah, this is pretty awesome. Glad to have this one part of my collection. On to the next one. Now this one is uh, Bastilla Shan. I got this one and the other one, I'll get to that one in a little bit, um, from the Gaming Greats box from uh, GameStop. Cool to have this one. And it came with a bunch of lanyards and some uh, keychains and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. So I never picked that one up, so I'm glad to add this one to my collection. Next one up, we're going to go with Light Side Jedi Knight Reven. This one's so cool. I do like the uh, Dark Side one, but I think I prefer this one better. I don't know why. Looks cool with those uh, Jedi robes and everything. So this is number 430. Cool. All right. On to the next one. This is a Entertainment Earth exclusive Obi-Wan Kenobi in The Mandalorian armor this was so awesome um this is from the clone wars i believe season which one season five or season seven i don't remember exactly but yeah this was pretty cool awesome glad to add this one to my collection pretty cool and uh, like i said this is a entertainment earth exclusive so you guys i don't think they're available anymore um not 100% sure, but you may, you know, if you guys are interested, I'll try leaving links to where I purchased these at, at least to this one. All right, so let's get on to two more here. Anakin Skywalker with two blades. I believe this, I picked this one up in maybe end of February or towards the beginning of March. Well, I was so glad to have this one. This is from episode two when he's wielding the two lightsabers. An amazing scene against Dooku. That's so cool. Pretty awesome. Actually, this is a 2022 Fall Convention Funko exclusive. And down oh. to the last Funko Pop I picked up. And I picked this one up maybe about... Actually, this one came in maybe about three days ago. Three or four days ago, maybe. Long, but uh, yeah. This is the Power of the Galaxy Ahsoka number 578. This is awesome. Glad to have this one part of my collection. I picked this one up from Australia. Actually, I did not pick it up from Australia. I ordered it from Australia from an eBay seller over there. And I was trying to actually get it from uh, Aussie Collectibles, but 
when I finally decided to pull the trigger on getting it, um, it sold out. So I picked this one up from Australia still, and it was a seller in Australia. So I'm not sure if he's connected in any way to, uh, to Aussie collectibles, but yeah, this is awesome. And I have some other um, Power to Galaxy uh, figures, and I'm trying to collect all of them. As a matter of fact, I placed an order for Jin Urso. She should be getting here tomorrow. So can't wait to add that one to the Power to Galaxy collection I have. So yeah, this is pretty much all that I picked up for March towards the uh, ending of February and March. So I'm just going to include those two because I haven't done uh, hauls in a couple of months. But let me uh, gather them all together so you guys can see it. All right, you guys can't see back here. This is some top secret stuff over here. So anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, this is pretty much what I picked up for February and March. These Funko Pops right here. I know this is kind of strange, me being actually in front of the camera, but I think I need to get more comfortable in front of the camera. What's your Star Wars story? I've been doing, you know, videos and stuff like that in front of the camera. I mean, I'll be more personal with you guys so you guys can get to know me a little bit more. So I think this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing from now on. Uh, I'll probably still do, you know, camera showing whatever item I'm picking up, but I feel more comfortable actually talking to you guys in front of the camera instead of uh, behind the camera so i just kind of get tongue-tied but anyways thank you guys for watching this video and consider subscribing if you're new to this channel i do weekly funko pop reviews black series toy reviews black series helmet reviews and anything star wars related i can get my hands on we'll see you on the next one peace